Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Blake 7 Series 2 Episode 7. This is called Killer. Killer is in Travis. Travis is going to be on one now. Is there going to be another killer? I'm sure Blake and the crew have a lot of people that are after them. I mean, it could be endless. If you're new here, my name is Marie Claire. Thank you so much for joining me. I really, really appreciate it. Um, I'm just so grateful to have you all here watching Blake 7 with me. It means the world. I've got an itchy nose, so sorry. Right, I just feel like things are gonna be picking up a notch. That's just how I feel. Travis is back out there. Servalan is just always on top form, so yes do i need to prepare myself probably watch out watch out there's a killer about so that's it uh-huh not like home how are we gonna get inside what is that we'll find a way come on sam give us optimum range on the art scanners Confirmed. There it is, look. The spectro says it's ferrous. Could still be a meteor a long way off. Clear vision. Confirmed. Well, it's certainly not a meteor. Incredible. And that's set adrift. Why? I think we should take a look. No. Oh, Callie, there can hardly be any danger. I detect life. Human life? Mm. Yes. I don't know. What do you men want? Hello, Tynus. Kurt Avon. How the devil did you get here? Something called a teleport system. It beats shuttles. Um, come into my quarters. It's safer there. Did Interesting. Anyone well, if they did, they didn't look twice. What do you mean? Tynus, you really didn't think that I dropped in to talk over old times? No. Blake sent us. The Federation have started transmitting A-line messages using a new pulse code. We need to break that code. That's impossible. Not impossible, Tynus. Remember, we train together. That code is unbreakable without a TP crystal tuned into that pulse. Exactly. That's what we've come for. He might go and I dob them in. Him. I told you, he's a friend of mine. Yes, I always knew you had a friend. I used to say to people, I bet avon has got a friend somewhere in the galaxy. Before you do that, make sure this message is A-line to Federation Headquarters Command. Right, sir. I just never know who to trust on this show. A few hours ago, our detectors picked up some space debris. We sent a ship to investigate. Well, I suppose it could be from Blake. He has these generous impulses. By the way, why don't our detectors pick up a liberator? Anti-detection screen, one of Avon's gadgets. We're expecting it to break down any time. Let's get back to the TP crystal. That's what we're here for. You know you're asking me to commit suicide. Is there something wrong with your memory, Tynus? You owe me. Remember? Ooh. Not enough to put my head on the block. Ah, oh, sir. Uh, this came about the recovery team. This set is really nice. Spacecraft may contain hostile life. It's a joke. That's the message. Would you rather the convict planet, Tynus? Avon's Fire great. Is the greatest hazard here. How long before we get our hands on the crystal, Tynus? An hour to check the cause of the fire. Make sure the malfunction is working. Then, of course, I better get security to release a spare crystal hour. I would say 10 hours at least. 10 hours? That is what Avon has reported. That's a long time. Shall I call them back? No. Without that crystal, we'll never break the Federation pulse code. Where are we? Looks like the control room. My God. We found the problem oh. here, sir. I love it. They almost look like, they do almost look like bugs, don't they? 
You think you can handle that? Maybe. It's a new model since my time. No, it's just the way the converter's package, the secretary's the same. I shall need more than ten minutes. That's all the time you've got, Avon, and I can't even guarantee that. Gosh. He's going to talk. There's a real human in there. He's going to start talking. Look. Right. He's going to open his eyes. I saw the eyelids move. Sorry. There is an old surgical scar extending from behind the left ear in the region of the supramastoid crest. Up I saw the, the eyelid move again. Look. The eyeballs are soft. And the tissue of the upper extremities is also soft. Wyler! You've got brain life! That's quite impossible, Dr. Belfar. May I suggest that you adjust your monitor? Bit of CPR, he'll be alright. Dr. Belfar! Dr. Wyler's neck's broken. I'm coming down. Oh, Dr. Belfar, look at the screen. Wow, their outfits are just so funky. A blood sample, a while I took. These are the lab results coming through. It's spreading rapidly, so we've got eight cases in Grotobiotics and several more in the mainland. Well, have you traced the contacts? That's the point, sir. There doesn't seem to have been any. There must have been. Somebody's lying. I don't think so, sir. Well, then it must have spread from the sick bay. <sighs> Dr. Bax? No. Oh, come on, man. He's going to be dead. My God! Well, we're really going to have to sweat it out. Have you fixed the converter? I reckon so. Good. You did a good job with that fire. Yes, it went better than I had planned. It almost got out of control. What's that? All that's left of the incendiary mechanism. I don't want that found. Wouldn't be recognised? Maybe not. But there's no point in taking any chances. Haven, come here. What's the matter? That old friend of yours should go a long way in a service. The further the better. Listen to this. Servalan, Federation HQ, urgent. Liberator in orbit, phosphorin. Detaining 10 hours, make speed, Tynus, Q base. All right, Blake. These data blocks contain lab tests on about 5,000 microorganisms. I need them scanned for known characteristics and the stranger, the palatine organism, picked out. Shouldn't take all right too long. Keep your receptor open, I'll set up a communications link. All right. Uh, oh, no. Why aren't people putting, like, masks on or something? Oh, my God. So this virus thing is the killer. what plans he has for you. So Serverland and, and the Federation and stuff wouldn't come onto this, wouldn't come here because they'd get the plague. Come on, Villa. Save the day. So you're going to kill me? It's nothing personal. I shall try not to hold it against you. You know too much about me. I should have turned you in when I had the chance. I think I found the answer. I'm afraid for anybody here, but it's absolutely vital that you record the following information. Jenna? Or a nucleic acid solution. Now, uh, here is the formula for the antiserum. 
Dr. Belfra, are you saying that this virus is only effective against human beings who have been in deep space? Precisely. It fits your theory. But I don't think the virus was designed to destroy man. Only to confine him to his own planet. Now, here's the, here's the formula. Stop Go ahead. travelling. HN. Are you crazy? I've got to warn all traffic to stay away from Phosphon until that virus burns itself out. Listen, Blake, Servalan is on her way here. She lands on Phosphoron, she gets the plague, she's off our backs for good. You cannot put out a warning. Suppose some of them don't die. Suppose some of them get off in a ship. That plague goes out to all the galaxies. Millions will die because of it. That is the one responsibility that I will not take. I really enjoyed that episode. I really, really enjoyed it. Having Villa and Avon together is just the best thing ever. They just go together so well. Um, yeah, I love them together. I, I've, I think I've, I think I've said this a lot, but I've really grown to love Avon. I still don't one hundred percent trust him, and I don't think I ever will. But. I, I, there's just I just love how like miserable and honest he is and I like it when we get to see him do some fighting scenes so that was really really great the set was joyous in that I loved it you know what I'm like with you know these very clean sets it was I really really enjoyed the set I really liked their costumes the almost bug like costumes that was great I really liked the doctor that Blake was with I really liked the actor and I think that always I always talk about this don't I but I think when you've got supporting actors who are just as believable and are just as great it just makes it so much easier to watch um, this idea of there being a plague I mean brutal brutal but this it's a it's a the decision Blake was making at the end I think I would side more with Avon to be honest because yes you absolutely could risk it going out into the galaxy but Aurak could potentially come up with the with the solution to it and I would be more concerned about Servalan going there and getting it like that would be my focus so I do think I side more with Avon so I would be willing to let more people die just so that Servalan got it yeah I think I would if I was protecting myself and my crew so again it's one of those um it's one of those moral dilemmas isn't it and Avon was talking about it there saying that Blake saves other people whereas Avon's concern is saving himself so I just thought that whole conversation was a really interesting one. I loved it. I loved it. And I assume the killer is the plague. I really, really, really enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts on that episode. And I will see you next week for the next one. Bye.